it's Biju. And Elise. And we're bloggers from BijuBoxes.com where we review all kinds of subscription boxes, primarily Japanese knife boxes, where we keep a pretty extensive and always updated list of the best ones with reviews. And today we have Arcade Block. And this is a block, uh, box, box block. <laughs> I'm messing this up already. Yeah. That I've been really interested in for the last couple of, you know, boxes. Because, I mean, they've always had really fun, quirky things in it. Because it's been like, oh, here's Pac-Man salt and pepper shakers. Or here's a Link shot glass. You know, it's just quirky. You know, I like stuff like that. So anyway, Arcade Block runs about $30 a month. That's with shipping to the United States. Um, each box contains a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Each box contains a t-shirt. They have sizes up to 4X for unisex, like 2X for women, and I think like 3X for men. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's just, it's, it's the arcade version of Nerd Block. And little tiny quip, my UPS guy, when he delivered this to me, actually asked if they packaged a Nintendo and sent it to me in an, in an old Nintendo case. Man was straight up stupid. So, <laughs> let's get into it. This is what the box looks like. This is for the month of July. No, I'm sorry, the month of June. Um... You know, I, eh. <laughs> Just, eh. It does come with an info card that details all the items inside it. Um, on the back of the info card, it tells you, like, the, what's the, uh, special item of the month. So. You still there, Elise? I'm still here. Okay. <clears throat> First... Item is an exclusive, which are Portal 2 fridge magnets. Okay. I like the bottom right one, it's got a cake. Cake. So, cake. cake. Next item. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Oof. All right. Let me go ahead and show you the t-shirt. Each one has an exclusive design. Um, I tend to run a little big, so I did get a 4X, and this is actually super huge on me. So, they're Gildan, uh, brand Ultra Cotton, so they're, they're really heavy weight. Um, I could probably do a 2X in this. So, this month's theme is, oh wow, good job, Biju, <laughs> is Team Fortress 2, which I've never played. So, Team Red versus Team Blue Balloonicorn Edition. I guess. There'll be better pictures of this up on the blog. So, because, you know, my camera's, like, this big. So. But, yeah, it's super heavyweight. These actually run big, which is good. I got um, t-shirts from 1UP Box, which ran super small. Like, kids and junior sizes. So. Moving on. It comes with a Max Speed watch. Which is LED speedometer car watch with also LED display, an alarm, stainless steel back cover, and adjustable black rubber wristband. Comes in a neat little collectible tin. It says arcade block printed on it. Neat. Very neat. This is like the big item. They're valuing this at like somewhere near fifty dollars. So. Oh God, it's bright. So this is, oh god, I'm sorry, I just blinded everybody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this that is, way they can't see these terrible videos. <laughs> I wonder if I can, like, stall their hearing, too. Alright, this is uh, the watch. It's got several little knobs on it. Um, let's see. The big one's the date. This is the date, this is the time. Uh... Week, AM, PM. I mean, it's it's really got, like, nice little features, but it's a bit masculine for me. It's also massive. It's huge. And it lights up. That is badass, though. That is really cool. It does it three different ways. 
So you can actually like use it like as a race car watch. Oh, that is so cool. Does it do anything else? Oh, it flashes. Well, yeah. But it's super, super bright, so... I mean, it's blinding me, and I know it's blinding you on the camera, but... Like, hold on. Yeah, I love how it turns on like that. Oh, my! Isn't that cool? I like that. So... You know, it's pretty neat. I mean, I'm just, I like watches and everything, but I don't like big bulky ones. And this, again, to me, is masculine. So, I probably won't wear it. I'll pro probably, probably eBay that one. Hint to be hint hint. Alright. There's two more, three more items in here. Come on! Alright. <laughs> um, this I actually like. I'm thinking of framing this, actually. It's a bumper sticker. Coexist, and each thing is something different that's retro, like the T is obviously Minecraft, um, the C is Pac-Man, the O is Dreamcast, E I think is Sega, um, the S is Sega. Oh, what's the E, then? Uh... <laughs> I don't know, the O is Xbox, the I is... We don't know Wait, what the E is. the E and M for Microsoft? It might be, I don't know. I don't know. No idea, but the Dreamcast logo brings back memories, man. <laughs> Alright. There's also an exclusive print. Um, the Hunter of Zebus? Zebes for Metroid? Hooray! An obscure reference to a game I've never played. Even. It's a nice print. I mean, I'll, I won't hang it. But, I, you know, it's nice quality. So, nothing to explore. Um, it says artist rest rest. <laughs> artist rest more. I apologize for butchering your name. Has a talent for capturing the atmosphere of a game in a single print with the hunter of Zeb Zebs. He successfully conveys the sense of exploration, desolation, and danger of the this iconic world from the Metroid series. Again, never played Metroid. That's kind of that reference is lost on me. Alright, the last item is an issue from Retro Video Game Magazine. You know, it's special Arkham, because new Batman game. Um, it's got a neat little thing in it. Thing, things, thing, thing, the thing. Um, it's all about retro video games and. Do, 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 do. Uh. Um, there's a Deadpool article in here. So, you know, I mean, I'll read it, but, eh, it's a magazine. What are you going to do? So, that's Arcade Block. The cost, again, is, it's nineteen ninety nine per month, but shipping jacks it up to $30. And, um, it ships via UPS, and honestly, the only thing I even moderately like is the watch, and even then, that's a bust for me. So, because, again, it's masculine, and it's it's got a really big face on it, and it's not something I'd wear. Plus, Can't you it, just say you like the coexist thing? I do like the coexist, but, I mean, I'm not going to pay $30 for a bumper sticker. <laughs> that is true. So, I mean, even if it was a, you know, pretty darn good bumper sticker. <laughs> Maybe if it was a bumper sticker covered in dragons. Very true, very possible. I would like to see, since this is arcade, uh, which I probably won't see it ever, maybe some Lost Story items, but I guarantee it won't show up in here. So, but next month is going to have an exclusive Sonic something, um, a Pop Funko, which is probably the Sonic item, to be honest, two t-shirts, and a bunch of other collectibles. It's supposed to be their biggest arcade block ever. Um, we are subscribed. I subscribe to a three month subscription. Shipping alone is like forty dollars, which is irritating to me. I don't oh. like paying shipping for anything. <laughs> so, I'm one of those people that I won't pay shipping if it's like two dollars. So, but I did on this because I liked arcade the way arcade block looked. You know, I'm kind of a little disappointed to be honest. So I'm hoping July makes up for that. 
Well, anyway, if you're interested in our K-Block, again, it runs about $30 for shipping to the United States. Can to Canada is actually cheaper because it's usually based in Canada. And, you know, it's nerdblock.com is how to get it. Um, but this is the arcade one. They've got several blocks. Um, our blog is... Our bog. Our bo I didn't know we were raising cranberries now. <laughs> our blog is bjuboxes.com. So, bye everybody.